you should start seeing your attendees come in. Welcome, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. We're so excited to have you join us. If you want to announce yourself in the chat window, we will announce that you're here. I see we were joined already by 96 people, 99. Welcome, Anitha from Colorado and Autumn. Welcome, Lisa from San Diego. Welcome, Elizabeth from Georgia. Allison, so glad you're here. Suzette, welcome from APH. Uh, let's see, Jeanette Norman. Oh, there we go. We're just popping up all over the place. I can't keep up. Hello from Vermont, Alaska, Hawaii, Boston, Oregon, Texas, New York, Kentucky, California. And H, Valerie, welcome. Oh, that's Hawaii. Hi from Hawaii. Shelby from Macon, Georgia. Hello, Terry. Hello, Montana. And we have someone from Canada today. So excited to have you joining us today. Welcome to Fun with Braille. Today we are joined by Tammy Reisman. We are also here with Leanne Grillet from APH and Hello. Cushman from Paths to Literacy. And I am Cheryl Kamehanan from Cal State University, Los Angeles. I am so excited, Tammy, that you are here to join us. I have my plate already. It's a brand new container. So I get to open it today and I get to pull out my blue Play-Doh and my yellow Play-Doh. I also have orange and green, so I'm really excited to be able to play with my Play-Doh. And you know, yesterday, for those of you who are joining us from home, I had to dust off my Perkins Braille Writer. And I thought to myself, gosh, my Perkins Braille Writer is really dusty. And I feel like I am spending so much time on the computer. I've had more screen time than I think I've had in the last week than I have had in the last year, which is a lot for me. So I had to dust it off. But I'm wondering, for those of you at home, who here has used your Perkins Braille Writer in the last week? Anyone? If you have used your Perkins Braille Writer, say yes in the chat window. Me! Brandy, I have. Mina, yes. Kelly, yes. Lisa, hooray. I'm so excited to see all of you. I have another little thing to disclose. I don't even have braille paper. So I had to pull out my cardstock. And so today I'm excited because purple is my favorite color. Purple shirt, purple paper, purple braille writer. I'm just going to pretend it's purple. That's what I would choose if I had a braille writer. Anyways, Tammy, we're so excited to have you. Please. Say hello to Tammy, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us today. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to Fun with Braille. I'm Tammy. Can I just see in the chat for a second how many kids are here? How many Braille readers are here? Can you, can you just write Braille in the chat box? Or you can have your mom write it for you. Or, yes. Lots and lots and lots. Fantastic. And how many TVIs are here? You can write TVI in the chat. And again, lots and Perfect. lots of TVIs in the chat. Okay. So I always like to start Braille off with a little hand warm up. I think it's really important just to kind of get, get us going. So I had asked you to try to get Play-Doh or clay if you have it. If you don't, that's okay. You can just use your hands. You can use a towel. You can use a sponge. You can use the table that you're sitting in front of to do any of these activities. So everyone get out whatever you're gonna use, whether it's the Play-Doh or, or something else. And let's start by squeezing your Play-Doh, just kind of squishing it in your hands. Does everyone have their Play-Doh? or other material. So start squishing, give it a good squish. And once you have it really squished nicely in your hands, I want you to try then to start pinching it. So pinch it between your thumb and your pointer finger, your thumb and your middle finger, your thumb and your ring finger, your thumb and your pinky, and do that for both hands. And just keep pinching and squishing. 
Awesome. And then once you pinch, I want you to just start rolling in the Play-Doh in between your hands. You're just gonna roll your hands back and forth. And you're gonna kind of make a long snake or just like a long tube, however you do that, but you're gonna roll it and roll it. Keep getting those hands and those fingers going. And then, and then we're gonna splat it or clap it. So then we're gonna just do it as hard as you can with your Play-Doh. Can you hear me splatting my Play-Doh? Just going in between my hands. And then finally, we're gonna do some poking. So whether you're poking your Play-Doh or a towel or the desk, you're just gonna take each finger and you're gonna poke right into it. So poke with your pointer finger, point with your middle finger, point with your ring finger, and poke with your pinky. And do that with both hands. How's everybody doing? Do you feel like your hands are getting warmed up? Great. Okay, now we're gonna do one other little hand warm up activity. This time I want you to take your braille writers and put in some paper. And just let me know with a yes when you've got your paper in, in your braille writer. Great, so this time what I want you all to do is we're almost gonna have like a, an alphabet race. So I wanna see how fast you can write the letters of the alphabet on your Braille writer. So when I tell you to go, I want you to write as fast as you can. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Write, that, write those letters of the alphabet. And when you're done, just tell me that you're done. Oh, I see some are putting some of those letters in the chat. That's great. Awesome. Nice job, everybody. So you're really ready to do a little bit more Braille. So next, I always like to start with um, some tracking activities. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to think about something that you really like something that is a favorite anything. It could be a favorite food, a favorite animal, a favorite toy, something that is just a, a favorite something of yours. And think of a word that has to do with your favorite something. So I um, am thinking of one of my favorite things, which is the ocean. So think of a word like that. And then what I want you to do is on your Braille writer, you can leave in the same paper that you did the Braille alphabet race with to warm up. And what I want you to do is I want you to write six full Braille cells, two spaces, the word that you're thinking of, two spaces, and then six full Braille cells again. and let me know when you're done with that. Yep, I can repeat that. So you're gonna write um, six full braille cells, two spaces, then your favorite word, or your, the, a word that goes with your favorite thing, two spaces again, and then six full braille cells. I can slow down a little bit. So just let me know when you're done. I'll pause for a couple minutes till I know just about everyone's done. So I'm gonna show you my Braille writer here. And I did this ahead of time. I'm not sure, it's kind of hard to see the Braille for those of you that can see, but I'll show you just across the top um, what it looks like, just a line 
of some full braille cells and your word. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to start to look at the line that you just made that has the full braille cells and your word and I want you to use your fingers and I want you to track across going from left to right and make up a story to go along with that word that you're tracking. So for example, I chose the word ocean. So I'm gonna go, I'm going from left to right across my paper and my story that I came up with are ocean waves came onto the sand. Just a easy story that has to do with the word that I wrote and that helps, has me practicing just moving my fingers from left to right across the full braille cells, across the word, and then across the rest of the full braille cells. So I'd love to have some volunteers to hear what your tracking stories are. We have a few people that want to share either in the chat or maybe that want, want to say what their story is. So we have a few people with their hands raised. Would you like to hear okay. from Jane? Sure. Oh, Jane, yeah. your microphone's off. And I'll, there you go. We can hear you, Jane. My sentence was about um, when I learned Braille. Okay. Can you tell, can, okay. Anyone else like to share their sentence? Jennifer Nengel? Jennifer, you'll have to unmute your microphone. Give you one more second. Okay, let's try another one. We'll try Kenneth. Kenneth Schomer. I'm a TVI, so I haven't done it. Aha, okay, I'm gonna put your <laughs> hand down, TVI. <laughs> Would anyone just like to write their sentence or story in the chat? I saw once upon a time I wear makeup at my house. I like yeah, I brown like dogs. Oh, good. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> the ocean is where I like to go with my family. Giraffe. Giraffes have long necks. Um, a cat meows. These are fantastic. Nice job, everybody. So let's do one more. So now this time think of a different word. And we're going to do one more tracking story for everyone. Oh, there's lots of great ones. I love to cook chicken Alfredo, care for your sister. I love to dance too, Lisa. Okay, so awesome. So this time, let's do a second one. And again, come up with a, a sentence or, or something that you're saying as you're tracking across that line. And this time when you let me know what your sentence is, also let me know what your word was that you brailed. So I did um, another one. I know I have one of my students happens to be on. So the word I picked is giraffe. And my um, sentence for it is, the giraffe stretched his neck to the tree looking for food. So as I'm going across from left to right, I'm going across those full braille cells, across the word giraffe, and then back across as he's looking for his food when he's stretching his neck. So do one more word. Oh, I see some more coming up. The dogs are very cool animals. I love lipstick, this is so good. The guitar is a wonderful musical instrument. I like to eat blue ocean apples. The blue cat is happy. Oh, thanks for telling me that your word was cat. Nice job. You guys are very creative. You have a lot of good thoughts. The watermelon is so sweet. I love to sing. I love my mom. Cats say meow. Eliana, I love sushi. The big foot caught a dresser leg. Great job, everybody. 
How will babies wait for their mom? Nice. All right. Did everyone have a chance to do that second sentence? Oh, football is one of my favorite sports. Terrific. Okay. So now I'm gonna do a couple of activities. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do it, I'm just trying to read the chat and get focused here, sorry everybody. So now we're gonna do a couple of listening activities. So when, you're, when we're doing braille lessons and you know braille literacy, it's also important to work on our listening skills and to think about how sounds go together when we're reading braille and when we're writing braille. So I have a couple of activities that I want you to think about and help me with. So the, ver the first one is an alphabet start and end game. So what I do is, what, what I will do is I'll say a word and then I want you to listen carefully for the word. I'm gonna say the whole word and then I want you to listen for the very last sound that you hear in the word. And then I would love someone to volunteer to give me another word that starts with the same letter as that last sound. So I'll give you an example. This could be a little confusing. So if I say the word, Pencil, that's my first word, pencil, ul. Pencil ends with that ul sound, the letter L. So now the next person would give me a word that starts with L. Like, oh, someone put lovely down, that's perfect. Or you could have lion. So if someone said lovely, e, so then the next word might be a word that starts with the letter E. Does everyone understand the directions for this listening game? Oh, I already see some answers there, eliminate. Okay, so, so I'm gonna go based on the last word, eliminate. So do you hear the last sound that I'm saying? Eliminate. So now we need to think of a word that starts with that last letter, t, t, t. I see table. I see turtle. I see tree. Terrific. Ah, fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to use the word, oh, and I see tennis, so now I'm going to take the word tennis, and now what's that last sound that you hear in tennis? S -s sun, snake, sad, salt, snack, silly, slide, song. All right now I'm going to take the word song, g What's the word you can tell me with that g sound, that g? Gum, gorilla, girl, grass. You guys are good. I'm impressed, you're really good at this. Grow, God, gold, grind. Let's see, let me do one more. Let me find, oh, how about, um, Let's see, I'm gonna pick one more. Let's do girl. I think we may have done this letter already, but girl, what's that last sound you hear in girl? Ooh, ooh, girl. Right, L, letter, lion, lemon, love, leaf, lock, leap, lime. Fantastic. You guys are really good at this, these letter sounds. All right, are you ready for my next um, listening activity? Oh, they just keep coming. Fantastic. All right, so the next one, um, I'm gonna do some mystery rhymes. So I want us to think about rhyming words. Cause that's also really important when we're doing braille reading and writing is just to really be able to listen to words. So we did some listening to sounds. So now we're gonna listen to some words and I want you to to try to figure out what I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna say to you something like, I have something that rhymes with darker. And can you think of what word I'm thinking of or what word I have? Yep, it's marker, you got it. How about I have something that rhymes with feed? Yep, seed. 
need, deed, perfect. All right, ready for the next one? I have something that rhymes with hen. Yep, pen, that's what I have, pen. I see some others, I see men, Ren. Good thinking everybody, Den. I have something that rhymes with hall. Excellent, ball, ma, call, fall. And I was thinking of ball, that's what I have with me. Nice job. I have something that rhymes with dock. Actually, I have two things that rhyme with dock. Yep, I have a sock. Lock. The one other thing that I have that rhymes with dock is something that you get from outside. Usually they're not in your house, but they might be outside. I brought one in. A rock. You got it. Very good. I have two more. I have something that starts with dish. Fish, yes, I have two pet clownfish. Wish. Kish, kiss, yep, swish, nice job. And the last one I have is, I have something that rhymes with loon. Spoon, that's what I have, soon, moon. Nice job, you guys are all really good at rhyming and doing all these sounds. Does someone wanna try one? I'd love to hear something that you all have something of that you want us to find a rhyme for. Someone wanna put something in the chat? I have something that rhymes with cow. All right, guys, what rhymes with cow? Now, bow, meow, plow, wow. Great job. How about someone else? Someone else wanna give it a try? So, Eliana, are you saying you have something that rhymes with house? Oh, I have something that rhymes with hair. I know it's, the chat's going very fast, so I apologize, apologize if I miss some. Oh, rhymes with dime, bear. Oh, all right, so we're looking at hair. So we have bear. Nice job, all right. Chair, care, great, nice job everybody. Okay. So now what I want you to do is I want you to write two sentences. Oh, first get your braille writer back out, bring it in front of you. And make sure there's a piece of paper back in. So I'll give you a couple minutes or a minute just to get everything back and let me know when you're ready. Okay. So on your braille writer, I want you to write two sentences about yourself. If you don't have a braille writer with you, you can tell the person that's sitting with you what you're thinking about. Or if you're someone that has a braille note taker, you could also write it on your note taker as well. Or a slate and stylus, absolutely. So let me know when you have your two sentences. Okay. 
Okay, so I would love to hear a few of you read your sentences out loud. So maybe we could have five volunteers to do that. Okay, your first volunteer is Kathleen. Kathleen McGee, I've hit it so that you can speak, but you've got to unlock your microphone. Go for it, Kathleen. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on. Take your time. It's okay. Can you find your sentences, Kathleen? Okay, Kathleen, we'll try to catch you next time. I think she well, had remuted her mic. I think, I think so. Uriah? Can you tell us your sentences? Okay, Uriah's not clicking, so let's try Madeline. Technology is not always our friend. No, but I actually, I missed a lot of them, but people are writing their uh, sentences in the chat. Madeline, you have to unmute yourself to be able to speak. Hold down the space bar. There you go, Madeline. Um, okay, um, so I have my sentence written. Go for it. The first one is, I like to, oh, sorry, this is a mistake, a typer. I like to write stories. The second one in the second is, I am 15 years old. Nice job. Thank you for sharing, Madeline. Those are great sentences. Hey, you want to try one more? Let's try one more. We have Allison Wright. Push your space bar, Allison. Um, there you go. We can hear you. I have three sisters. And I have four pets, two cats, and two dogs. Nice sentences, Allison. Nice. Terrific. Thank you so much for sharing. You know, it's, it's very brave to come on and open your mic and share your sentences that way. I love it. Thank you. And I see a lot of sentences that I've missed. I know that they've been going up on the chat room. I really like Harry Potter. I like to go to Disney. Um, I have CRB1, I am seven. I am Navajo, I am also 11 years old. So some really great sentences. So I hope, you know, that as I know, um, that, you know, probably all of us are not in school right now. So I hope that you're all practicing doing your, you know, writing some braille and then reading back what you're writing it's really important. It's really going to help you keep up your Braille skills. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to read a story and I'm going to go line by line, sentence by sentence with this story. And what I'm going to do is um, 
as I read, if, as I go sentence by sentence, I want you to listen and when you hear a contraction or, or a word that has a contraction in it, a braille contraction, I want you to write it in the chat box so I know that you heard that contraction. Now this story is a story that you may have heard before, which is fine. Um, this story is something, I mean, these stories are often used for beginning braille lessons. I just think they're fun and they have a lot of contractions in them. And I chose this one because um, it's about a bunny and I love bunnies. All right, so y'all ready? So what will happen is I'm gonna just go slowly, sentence by sentence. And then as soon as you hear a contraction, I want you to write it in the chat box. I can see that you're hearing what the contractions or that you're hearing what the story is. So the story is called Zola. And the first sentence is, Zola is my good friend. Yep, good. And friend, excellent. Zola is a very big bunny. Looks like everyone's getting very. Nice job. Zola is quite funny. Great, quite. We play together every afternoon. Grace, I see you're all, you're all getting it together afternoon, every. And is this the right speed for everyone? Am I going too fast for all of you, for some of you? Oh, all right, I'll try to slow down a little bit. Zola sips cola. Any contractions, braille contractions in that sentence? Nope, there are none in this one. I sip cola. I eat cake. So that's true. The EA contraction is in that word eat, but in this instance with the, with the way the braille rule is, um, we don't use the EA contraction at the beginning of a word, but I love that you're thinking and you're thinking about those contractions. Zola eats cake. I like cake a lot. Great. It's like. Zola likes cola a lot. But today Zola will not play. Great. We have but, we have today, we have not, and we have will. Nice job. I am sad. Zola is sad too. Zola looks sick. That sounds like three sentences in a row with no contractions. Yep. Zola has a sick tummy. Zola's vet will see Zola today. Great. I see Will. I see today. Nice job, everyone. He gave Zola a pill. He said, no more cola for Zola. Great. We have said and we have more. And did everyone get four? He said no more cola for Zola. Excellent. Tomorrow we can play again.
Nice. Tomorrow, can and again. Everyone's getting them. Fantastic. I am happy. Zola is quite happy. Zola is a funny bunny. I love Zola. Zola loves me. Any contractions in those in those last three? You guys are good. So I'm going to read the story one more time, just so you hear what the story is about. I know it can be hard when I'm just going line by line, and I know some of you want to hear the entire thing, but this time you can just listen. Zola. Zola is my good friend. Zola is a very big bunny. Zola is quite funny. We play together every afternoon. Zola sips cola. I sip cola. I eat cake. Zola eats cake. I like cake a lot. Zola likes cola a lot. But today, Zola will not play. I am sad. Zola is sad too. Zola looks sick. Zola has a sick tummy. Zola's fat will see Zola today. He gave Zola a pill. He said, no more cola for Zola. Tomorrow we can play again. I am happy. Zola is quite happy. Zola is a funny bunny. I love Zola. Zola loves me. Okay, so get your Braille writers out again. So this time, so think about this story about Zola the bunny. And they talk about, so after Zola had her sick tummy, then they talk about how they can play again tomorrow. Write down some things that Zola can play again tomorrow. What could a bunny rabbit play? Or what could the child play with this bunny? They could play fetch, yep. I guess if the, if the bunny was like to play with balls, they could play chase. Great thinking, everyone. Hide and go seek. Hopscotch. Nice. Anybody else? All right. So next, what I want you to do is uh, take out the paper from your brow writer and put a fresh piece in. And let me know when you're ready. Great. Just let me know when you have a new piece of braille paper in your writer. Those of you that have a braille writer. Great. All right, so I'm going to give you some directions to braille and we're going to make a braille picture together. Everyone ready? And I'll go slow. I know some of you want me to go a little bit slower. All right, so set up your Braille writer so that you're on the first line. And I want you to all do one space. And then do two S's. S, S. And then I want you all to do a WH contraction. Does everyone know what that is? So on the first line, you're gonna do a space 
SS and then WH, which are dots one, five, and six. Uh, thank you, Leo, for writing that down. Now you're going to go to the next line, just a single space, and bring your carriage all the way to the beginning. And you'll do a space. Two GH contractions, which is one, two, six. So you're going to do space, GH, GH. Then an AR contraction, which is um, three, four, five. Is everyone getting this? Then a um, three, five. That's three, five. And then another three, five. Am I going too fast? We're on. I'm going to type it in the chat again for everyone you. as you're going. So I have that would be great. base. G H G H yeah. A R Yes. Dots three five dot three five. Then I letter I letter C letter C letter E and then dots two six. Okay, so space, G H G H A R dots three five dots three five I C C E dots two six. Thank you. So let me know when you when you've got line two down. We'll go to and then you will go down to the third line, the next line. Okay. So in the third line, you'll do a space. Letter S. nine spaces and dots one, five, six. Thank you, Leanne. No problem. So again, on line three, it's space, letter S, nine spaces and dots one five six we're drawing a braille picture let me know when you're done with line three and we'll go to line four this picture just has six lines And I see some of you are writing what those contractions are, but because there are some beginning Braille readers here, I just, that's why I'm just saying the dot numbers and not necessarily the contractions. Okay, so line four is our dots two, four, six, a, 10 spaces, dots four, five, six, Letter S, 
and dots one, five, six. So again, line four, dots two, four, six, 10 spaces, dots four, five, six, letter S, and dots one, five, six. We're almost, we're almost there. You guys are doing great. Let me know when you're ready for me to move on. Okay, now we're on line five and we have a space dots one, five, six, nine spaces, dots three, four, five, letter E and letter I. Great, so line five is a space dots one, five, six, nine spaces, dots four, three, four, five, excuse me, letter E and letter I. Okay, and the last line, line six, we have the T-H-E contraction, which is two, three, four, six, dots two, three, four, six, letter X, then three dot three sixes. So dots three, six, dot three, six, dot three, six, all in a row. Dots three, four, five. Dots two, four, six. And then four of those dots, three, sixes. So dot three, six, dot three, six, dot three, six, dot three, six. And then finally the letter O. So I'll read it one more time for line six. And if you need any other lines to read, I can do that too. So line six are dots two, three, four, six, letter X, dots three, six, dots three, six, dots three, six, dots three, four, five, dots two, four, six, dots three, six, dots three, six, dots three, six, dots three, six, and letter O. So let's give everyone a minute just to finish up. I see there's some guesses. But I just wanna make sure everyone has a chance to finish up their picture. All right, and yes, it is a bunny, one of my favorite animals. I always think it's fun to have a, a braille picture when we're doing a braille lesson. So the last thing I wanna do with you all, this time has gone by so fast, so thanks all for hanging in there. So I asked you all to bring your favorite braille book with you today, and I really wanna hear what your favorite braille books are and why. So if you can write, you can, I would love to hear from three or four people, um, volunteers to tell us the title of your book and why you love it.
but you can also write it in the chat as well. Okay, I'll let some of them come in the chat and I'll get Madeline, if Madeline can try again to see if you can get your mic working. You press your space bar. Hi. Hi, Madeline. Hello again. Hello. Um, hi. I, I got, hi. I got the question. Um, what is your What is your book Braille book that you bought brought and why? Um, I did not bring. But, oh, shush, come on, iPad. <laughs> My, my iPad keeps interrupting me. Sorry. Um, anyway, I was going to say, I don't have any books with me, but, but I do have a favorite one. Well, what's your favorite one? Um, uh, I like the one about um, what I have in my bookshelf right now is Something about, um, is called um, Jerry the Music Mouse. The reason I like it is because music is one of my interests, and I love reading books about music. I've never heard of that book. I'm going to have to check that one out. Thank you. Thanks, Madeline. I see some here on the chat. Someone wrote their favorite book is... Where the Red Fin Grows by Wilson Rawls because the story is so sad, but it's so good. And I have another person, Anna Zeldis. Oh, great. Press your space bar. There you go. My favorite book is the alphabet book because it has lots of silly words in it. Oh, uh, silly words are great. Thanks. Let's see what else is coming. Mrs. Frisky and the Rats of Nye, Because a Mouse That Has Kids was another title that's up here. Oh, my favorite book is Owl Moon. That's a great book. Anyone else? The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors, because it's silly. You know, sometimes just reading books because they're silly is just the best thing to do. Six Dots, because it has the correct info about Louis Braille. Good one. Yeah, a lot of great, great books up here. Thank you all so much for sharing this. I've got one more, Uriah. Oh, great. Yes, Uriah. You have to press the space bar. Okay, I'm not getting the space bar. We tried, Uriah. Right. Well, everyone, thanks so much for coming on today. I hope you had a little bit of fun with Braille and were able to do some, you know, join in with some activities with your Braille writers or in other ways. Thank you so much, Tammy. This was a lots of fun being able to listen to our sounds as well as write all of our Braille. I don't get to write nearly as much Braille as I used to, so it is nice to be able to practice and hear some of those contractions. Some of them are tricky. I love that, You're Tammy. And you know, this is Charlotte. I was thinking anybody who's at home could listen to the same lesson again if they wanted more practice. So that's great. You can be watching for your teachers and your parents to let you know when the recording's ready. And if you thought those contractions went a little fast or the alphabet you weren't too sure about, you definitely practice some more. I loved it. Thank you, Tammy. We had so much fun spending an hour writing Braille. I love the contraction hunt and the picture. We have a couple people saying how much they also enjoyed the tracking activities. If you had a favorite activity that Tammy shared with us today, tell us what it was in the chat window. We would love to hear from you. 
Friends at home, you did amazing work. Thank great following directions. That was a lot of directions to type all of those braille cells and to make that picture. We would love to see it. If you want to take a picture of you with your picture, mm -hmm. I would love to see what that looks like. We actually have a call right now looking for kids who are willing to pose for pictures. So if you are willing to share with us what you do on your Braille Writer with a nice, happy smile, send that picture to us, to Leanne. What we need them for is for all of our cover slides. Every single cover slide has a photograph of a child, and we would love if we could feature one of you on our cover slides. So please take a picture of you making Braille pictures or using your Braille Writer or holding up your favorite book and we will try and include it. We, we have a bunch of different things we need. So anything that you do, it could be using a cane, it could be doing an art picture, it could be singing a song. Just send us some pictures of what you do at home. Tomorrow is time for tots. So if you know any smaller, younger children, friends at home that you would like to suggest having them join us, we have a special hour coming up tomorrow, time for tots. For those of you who may be a little older and want to see our schedule for some activities for some older children, the schedule is up for next week. So check out those sessions that may interest you and we hope to see you on our, our webinar next week. All right, if I don't see you tomorrow at Time for Tots, have a great wonderful weekend or if you are gonna join us for some singing, then I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye.